Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that determine whether the given functions are continuous at the given x value. First is f of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 6 whole upon x plus 3 given that x is equal to minus 3 and second is f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 1 given that x is equal to 2. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is continuity at a point. Now a function is continuous at point x is equal to c if it satisfies the three conditions. First is the function is defined at x is equal to c that is f of c exists that is the function should not be undefined at x is equal to c. Second is the function approaches same y values on the left and right sides of x is equal to c. And third is the y value that a function approaches from each side is f of c. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the first part, we are given the function f of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 6 whole upon x plus 3. And we have to discuss its continuity as x is equal to minus 3. So using the key idea, we will check its continuity. Let us start with the first condition. And the first condition is, the function should be defined at x is equal to c. So here we will check whether this function is defined at x is equal to minus 3 or not. So we will substitute x is equal to minus 3 in f of x and we get f of x is equal to minus 3 whole square plus of minus 3 minus 6 whole upon minus 3 plus 3 and this implies f of x is equal to 9 minus 3 minus 6 whole upon minus 3 plus 3 which implies f of x is equal to 0 upon 0 so we get 0 by 0 form which is not defined. So the function f of x is undefined at x is equal to minus 3. Hence first condition of continuity is not satisfied. So the given function is discontinuous at x is equal to minus 3. Now if we look at its graph, we see that at x is equal to minus 3, there is a hole or small gap in the graph. So this point is the point of discontinuity. Now in the second part, we are given the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 1 and we have to discuss its continuity at x is equal to 2. Now again, we will check all the three conditions given in this continuity test. Firstly, we will check whether the function is defined at x is equal to 2 or not. So we put x is equal to 2 in f of x and we get f of 2 is equal to 2 square plus 3 into 2 minus 1 which implies f of 2 is equal to 4 plus 6 minus 1 and this gives f of 2 is equal to 10 minus 1 that is 9. This means that the given function is defined at x is equal to 2 or in particular 
we have f of 2 is equal to 9. So the first condition of continuity is satisfied. Now we we'll check the second condition of continuity. And the second condition is the function approaches same y values on the left and right sides of x is equal to 2. For this, we make table when x is less than 2 and x approaches to 2. Also we make table when x is greater than 2 and x approaches to 2. Now we have made these two tables. In the first table, we will take the values of x less than 2 and x approaches to 2. So we have taken x is equal to 1.9, 1.99, So we will put these values of x in the given function one by one and we get the corresponding values of y. Now using calculator for x is equal to 1.9 we get y is equal to 8.31 then for x is equal to 1.99 we get y is equal to 8.9301 and for x is equal to 1.999 we get y is equal to 8.993001. Similarly in the second table we will take the values of x greater than 2 and x approaches to 2. So we take x is equal to 2.1, x is equal to 2.01 and x is equal to 2.001 and using calculator we get the corresponding values of y. Now the first table shows that when x is less than 2 and x approaches to 2 then Y values approach 9 because all obtained values of f of x are very close to 9. Similarly, the second table shows that when x is greater than 2 and x approaches 2, then Y values approach 9 because here also all the values of f of x are very close to 9. Thus, the function approaches same y values on the left and right sides of x is equal to 2. So the second condition of continuity is also satisfied. Now we will check the third condition of continuity. Now, the third condition is the y value that a function approaches from each side is f of 2. Now from these two tables we concluded that the y values approach 9 as x approaches 2 from both the sides. Also from first condition we have got f of 2 is equal to 9. Thus the y value that f of x approaches from each side is f of 2 that is 9. So the third condition is also satisfied. Hence, the given function is continuous at x is equal to 2. Now this can also be confirmed by examining the graph of this function. Now see the graph of this function. Here you can see that there is no break in the graph and it is a continuous curve. So this is the solution of the given question. That's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.